Hollywood flowers are on display at the Walk of Fame star for actress Kirstie Alley, who passed away yesterday at the age of 71. Alley received her star back in 1995. She died after a short battle with colon cancer. The doctors say it's one of the deadliest forms of cancer, and screening is key in fighting it. Kick it on's Lauren Posen spoke with a doctor and a survivor today. I'm flying. That's it. <laughs> I'm flying. I'm doing a good job. She was a star on the big and small screens. And now we know actress Kirstie Alley was diagnosed with colon cancer before she died Monday. Her manager telling us it was only recently discovered. It's a cancer Melissa Ursini knows all too much about. She's a colon cancer survivor. Some of the symptoms was like diarrhea and, you know, constant diarrhea, which I just thought I had gained some weight and I wasn't eating the right food, so I started exercising. She went to urgent care numerous times, but says her symptoms never improved. I just started throwing up brown, smelly stuff, which if you think about it, it's the stuff that's not supposed to come out your mouth. Finally, doctors told her she had colon cancer at age 37. I always thought of it as, as you got older, that was a possibility of having colon cancer because your oh, those testing didn't start until you were in your 50s. Doctors removed the tumor and part of her colon. Then she went to City of Hope where she underwent chemo treatment. A year later, she is cancer free. Colorectal cancer or colon cancer, as it's more commonly talked about, starts in the colon or rectum, part of the digestive system. It's the third leading cause of cancer deaths for both men and women. In fact, one in 23 men and one in 25 women are at risk for being diagnosed with it. And the American Cancer Society says over 52,000 Americans will die from colon cancer by the end of the year. We're seeing an increased incidence uh, in the younger population. Uh, so in fact, our major societies have recommended uh, a younger age of uh, initiating screenings. Doctors say that age is now 45. As for the rise in colon cancer with younger patients, Dr. Kwok says it could be for a number of reasons. Lifestyle, uh, we do uh, eat more and more uh, very processed foods. Um, some of the risk may come from uh, just having a uh, not so active lifestyle. The best prevention, both he and Ursini say, is to get a colonoscopy. If you feel like you have any symptoms of it, be that advocate for yourself. In Hollywood, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News. And with that, for more information on colon cancer awareness and what resources are available to you, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Seen on TV. LA